Hi, my name is Joel Sumner from National Instruments. I am the director of Semiconductor Test R&D. And this is a collaboration between four partners, uh, National Instruments, Tokyo Electron, uh, Form Factor, and Reed Ashman, to put together this system that we have designed to uh, characterize what um, the setup for production test of millimeter wave 5G components. Uh, what you see is the um, wafer prober, we have a probe card, and this is demonstrating our direct dock technology wherein the, um, to minimize the number of electrical connections between the probe tips and the tester. Uh, inside the tester here, we have NI's new uh, millimeter wave vector signal transceiver, which is up here in the PXI chassis, which STS is based on. This millimeter wave vector signal transceiver also covers the IF range, which is required for some device types, such as uh, transceivers and uh, front end modules. This also has integrated switching, which allows us to have 64 ports of the millimeter wave, along with uh, additionally what you can do with the IF range. Um, this same instrumentation is available on the bench, which allows you to use the same uh, instrumentation both in your characterization lab and in the production floor, also reusing your measurement IP, which is going to speed correlation and reduce risk so customers can focus uh, on their job, which is getting to their devices to market faster. My name is Tim Clary. I'm with uh, Form Factor. I'm the director of RF Marketing, and I'm here to talk about our new uh, millimeter wave solution, uh, the Pyramid Probe Card that you can see behind me here. Um, this is used as the interface between the die that's under test and the tester, so its electrical performance is finely tuned for 5G millimeter wave frequencies. Um, in this kind of an application, you're looking for as clean a transmission line as you can possibly get, and at the same time to be able to uh, route those signals uh, in and out between the tester and the DUT, um, maintaining as pure an RF environment as you can maintain. In this particular case, um, the uh, probe head is coming down onto a calibration substrate uh, where it is able to be uh, uh, calibrated and aligned in order to meet up to 80 gigahertz of performance. Um, this particular one is designed to do uh, anything from about 10 gigahertz up to 80 gigahertz, um, which covers most of the ranges that are currently uh, being expected for 5G. We're pretty excited about the, the extendability of this to be able to work on multi-die applications um, as well as individual dies and characterization. Um, this particular product is designed more for going into a production environment, but we also can support uh, lab environments. And in fact, we've been working with uh, the 5G community for the last couple of years um, as it has come up to speed. Hi, I'm James Baer with Tokyo Electron America. And today we're talking about the Tel Precio XL 300 millimeter wafer prober. Uh, the way this system's been designed has been integrated with the National Instruments STS tester for 5G high frequency testing. One of the important components of this uh, configuration here is the chuck. And the chuck is uh, developed specifically for low current, high frequency testing. And that's what we would call our super low current chuck. And this particular system right here is uh, set up specifically for the testing that this tester from National Instruments will be doing. And, um, so far, everything looks really well, and we're excited to get this new project underway. 